The U.S. and Taiwan have held their first high-level economic exchange since President Joe Biden took office. High on the agenda, cooperation in the semiconductor industry, which is facing a global supply crunch. CNA's Victoria Jen has more. At a press conference after the meeting, Economic Minister Wang Meihua said the most repeated word throughout the discussion was interdependence. Now, the word highlighted the close relations of Taiwan and the U.S. in technology supply chain, especially in the area of semiconductors since 1970s. Now, Taiwan has the world's second largest semiconductor industry by revenue after the U.S. As global demand continues to surge, the U.S. Semiconductor Industry Association projects that the global market for semiconductor to reach 550 billion U.S. dollars by 2025. As a result, the minister said it's crucial for the two sides to deepen their cooperation. The minister cited the recent investment by the world's largest chipmaker, TSMC, in Arizona as a great example. She said such investment would be beneficial to both economies, especially in the midst of a global crunch of chip. She said the U.S. has expressed its appreciation to Taiwan's contribution in chip supply. And she insisted that it was not only for the auto industry, but for the entire supply chain. Now, to further facilitate bilateral cooperation, she urged the U.S. to sign a free trade agreement with the island. Now, more details will be discussed in the next meeting without giving a specific date. Victoria Jen, CNA, Taipei.